Uh, we don't know each other. Um, do we? <laughs> no, we don't. Um, when I was a kid, I, I had really unrealistic dreams. And when I say unrealistic dreams, I don't mean unrealistic as in me wanting to play professional basketball in the NBA. You know, that's something that's, that's not likely to happen, but there's a chance. Um, when I say unrealistic, I mean humanly impossible. Okay? Yeah. Physically impossible. I wanted to be black. Okay? I wanted to be black so, so bad. And if I'm being honest, I, I still kind of do. <laughs> Sometimes. Why? Because I fell in love with hip-hop and basketball when I was a kid. And for obvious reasons, my idols were black. A lot of my idols were black. And I thought if I just look like them, if I just act like them, I'll have what they have. Right? I'll be just like them. And obviously that's what being black is about. You rap, you play basketball, and you look into a camera, really intense. You rock back and forth a little bit, you look at your friends and tell them, yo, there's a camera right there. Or you might hunt down a little bit, show the people what you're wearing. Point to the camera. Yeah, so mom comes in and then it's, I was just checking the uh, thing and just, yeah, my back. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Obviously, I didn't know what it meant to be black. Still don't. How could I? I don't know what it means to be black. Um, did that stop me? No. No, that didn't stop me. I had a dream. Okay. <laughs> now we get it. Here we go. <laughs> So, in high school, I started to wear really baggy clothing. I started to wear do-rags, and, and for those of you who don't know what a do-rag is, a do-rag is one of those really uh, tight caps that 50 Cent used to wear. And if you don't know who 50 Cent is, well then I can't help you. And if there's one thing I would have to point out that just screams, I'm not black, it's a white guy wearing a do-rag. Um, I got called wigger a lot, which was uh, wigger, uh, which was pretty hurtful, pretty insulting, I'll be honest. Uh, but you know what? After a while, I thought, hey, at least these people believe in me, <laughs> right? At least they see what I'm working towards. So thank you. Changing a negative into a positive. Um, the first video, uh, the R&B music video that I remember seeing on TV was uh, Pony by Genuine. Do you guys remember that song? Mm -hmm. Pony? Mm. Oh, yes. If you're on it, let's do it. You know it. Ride my pony. And I had never heard or seen anything like this in my life. So you can imagine my reaction. I was just staring at the TV screen in awe, thinking, I I don't know what I just saw. I, 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 I think I heard you say pony, and I love ponies. What? Are you kidding me? I love ponies. You have a pony? And all I need to do to, ri to ride your pony is, is, is what? Be homie? Okay. I, I, I don't know what homie is. I'll ask my mom. My mom will know what homie is because she speaks English. Uh, yes. It's true. My mom knows what homie is. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm sure she does. But, um, <laughs> I, before I got into hip hop, I was a kid. I who loved playing with dolls. I loved playing with ponies. I, I loved playing dress-up. That's for another time, but um, I, I really, I, I love ponies. And I had this toy pony, this white toy pony, right? And it had a pink saddle and pink frills around its legs, and its legs moved separately. It was incredible. <laughs> 
Oh, it was incredible. This microphone does not go back into its stand. Does it? Here we go. Sort because of. it's lit. Huh? <laughs> Look at that. It's just hanging out. Oh, there we go. It was incredible. Okay? The legs moving separately. You can imagine. <laughs> Had I been into hip hop at that point, I would have been like, yo, real talk? That's a dope ass pony song. <laughs> but I wasn't. I was still in elementary school at that time, and it was bring your toy to school day. Oh, bring your toy to school day. So the night before, I'm pacing back and forth in my room thinking, what am I gonna take, what am I gonna take? And I said, Roger, it's simple. Why not bring this baller ass toy pony with you to school? Right? People will love you for it. So the day rolls around, the next day I'm walking to school, pony under my arm. <laughs> the confidence of Kanye West at the VMAs. <laughs> oh, and I stepped into the front door of my elementary school, and as soon as I did, this older kid clocked me from right across the hallway and just yelled out, HA! THAT'S SO GAY! And my confidence was gone. Aww. And I just stood there. Pony under my arm, confused. But what I didn't realize, guys, that that moment was the moment that I got my first hater. <laughs> and you know what they say about haters? Haters don't hate. <laughs> so shine on your project. Um. Oh man, being a kid. You know, when you're a kid and it's your birthday, I, wait, is it your birthday today? Yes, it is. Your name is, sir? Neil. Neil, Neil. Happy birthday to Neil, everyone. Happy birthday! So Neil, when you were a kid, what would you do when it was your birthday? What would you do? You wouldn't do anything, you know what? It was not that long. Oh, it was that long ago. Neil's old. Um, Neil, I'll tell you what you did. You got selfish. Went to McDonald's. You went to McDonald's. You got selfish, Neil. When you're a kid and it's your birthday, you get selfish. You get caught. You just expect everyone to know it's your birthday. You just walk around announcing, it is my birthday today. That's right. Hello, my birthday. Yeah. Something's going on. Um, you know, and and what do you do when you finally get that birthday party? Oh, when you get that birthday party, you invite everyone, guys, right? You invite everyone that you know. You too. You would you would invite everyone, right? Everyone you know. Right? Yes. 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 Both of them, they would invite each other. That's all they got in this world. Uh, but when you're a kid, you invite everyone in your class. Why do you invite everyone? Because everyone equals more gifts. You invite people you don't even know. You invite people you don't really like. Right? Yes, the whole class. So, for my sixth birthday party, my mom got a magician, right? I was ecstatic. I was so excited, as I'm sure was he. Um, big break for him, probably. Um, <laughs> you know, I had been bragging about this for weeks. You know, so let, let's just pretend for a second that you're all in my class, right? We're all classmates. Um, you know, it doesn't matter your age. You're in a special, special ed class or whatever. And I come in in the morning with this announcement. I said, everybody, listen up. Okay. I've got this big birthday coming up. Huge birthday. It's big because I'll no longer be able to indicate my age on one hand. I'll need to. <laughs> Right? Because that's what you do when you're when somebody older asks you and you're a kid, you're like, this much. I'm this much. Which is to say I know exactly how old I am and I can count. 
And I could tell you, but it's my birthday, and I'll make you do the work. <laughs> and so I said, guys, it's going to be huge. I've got a magician coming. Everyone's invited. Whole class goes crazy. Oh, Roger, Roger, Roger. Right? Obviously. <laughs> People go crazy. The day of the party is here. Everyone in my class is here. Everyone showed up, and the party is right here, right now. Are you excited? <laughs> Why not? So the eight of us are sitting in a row, <laughs> waiting for this magic show to start. And guys, in our minds, this is Cirque du Soleil. I paid your salary. You work for me. <laughs> I didn't really say that. But I fought it. <laughs> What I really did was, oh, me, me, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> and I sat back down, I folded my arms, I just sort of stewed about it with a long face, and then one of you obviously would try to cheer me up. I was like, hey, Roger, that was cool, right? You just pulled a bunny out of a box. <laughs> yeah. I know what it would have made it better, though. <laughs> you get cocky. Guys, uh, I'll, I'll be honest with you, um, uh, sorry, I'll be really honest with you if you just stop talking for a second. Um, I was a late bloomer, okay, what does that mean? That means it's something you don't celebrate while you're doing the blooming, okay? It's not like you walk into high school party saying, no oh, where my late bloomers at? Make some noise if you got into puberty after everyone was already done. Yeah! No. It's something you keep very close to your still childlike chest, right? Something you keep close to yourself. In my case, that meant I was 15 and a half. And I say 15 and a half, knowing that you shouldn't use your age and a half after you're about nine and a half. But it was that important to me. Okay? It was that important to me. So I remember I was 15 years and five and a half. I was 15 years. Five months, 15 days, nine hours, six minutes, and 30 seconds when I hit puberty. So, on June 5th, 2003, at 5.46 p.m., I looked down, and I saw a beautiful, incomplete mustache right above my penis. <laughs> One, two, three, oh, four. <laughs> I was so thankful. I was like, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, I was so relieved. So relieved. Um, huh? Somebody's a late bloomer as well. Somebody's related. It's good. You know, that was, uh, that, was, that was my teenage years, basically. That was something that you know, I, I, I had to deal with. And uh, what's fun, though, is that uh, I was late with my puberty, uh, not late with my first gray hair. Hmm. That's nice, yeah. Which my wife keeps telling me I have several of, but when I look in the mirror, I don't really see them. Uh, and my eyes are pretty fucking good, babe, so, yeah. Uh, so one of us must be lying, yeah? And I kind of feel like Father Time is burning the candle on both ends a little bit in my case. I feel a little cheated. Yeah, yeah. Because 15 years after my first puberty, I get to do it again. I get to do a second one, yeah. Yeah. Somebody can relate. Second puberty. Yeah. You know, it's... Uh, there's a, there's a silver lining to it, you know? It's, uh, it, it'll make me distinguished when I'm, when I'm not even 30. <laughs> you know, and I see you guys thinking like, okay, 15 and a half, I went into puberty 14 years later. Is he, th yes, yes I am circumcised. <laughs> it was a medical reason why we did it. it it's cleaner. It looks not bad, and guess what? Who's also circumcised, guys? A lot of black guys. Thank you guys so much. You've been amazing. Thank you. Oh, this you crazy mother.